Smells like land. <laughs> so cold. Land right there. I woke up and I was like, shit, it's so close as well. And Yosha woke up and we're like, oh, it feels like Christmas. Like you're waiting for something, you know? So beautiful though. The sight and smell of land is always awesome after being at sea for a while. We just sailed 1,000. 500 miles from our last port in Cocos Keeling. We had really sweet sailing conditions for much of the trip, and it flew by in only 11 days. But Karen said it right. Making landfall like this is a bit like Christmas morning. We were totally excited to explore this remote paradise known as the Chagos Archipelago. So the, the pass is pretty narrow and we don't, we're not really sure if we trust the charts or not, so I'm going to go up the mast a bit and see if we can spot a good way in. Make sure we don't hit the reef. Get up there, ready? Yeah. Can you see the Can you see the pass? Yep. So the entrance is pretty narrow. There's it looks like a five meter deep little pass through the reef, and it's not that wide. It's like maybe just a couple of boat widths wide. So we've got Brady at the mast, so he can spot it, and uh, hopefully we won't have any problems getting it. It looks like you can turn to port any time to me. Yeah, I think this is it, this shallow bit here. Just head more to port. Another 20 or 30 to port. Yep, keep coming. I, I see a sand channel to get us out. Bit more. Balmies and coral patches and shallow spots all over the place, so we'll have to kind of use the water color to judge depth because um, the charts really aren't very accurate. So we're just going off of water color to navigate our way. I think it's like three miles to the what is it, southwest corner where we're going to anchor. <laughs> I've never been above a bird. It feels really still after the boat moving for like 11 days. Being in here is just like... Nice. It looks good though. We're gonna head kind of off the southern tip of this island here called Foo quit or fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. And there's one other boat here. So we've almost got the entire place to ourselves. It looks like there's a nice beach. Oh, let's have a look! <laughs> I, I don't think there's an actual boat there with live people on it. Really? Wait. Oh yeah, it's definitely a wreck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and say hello to our neighbors. <laughs> so that means we are the only ones here. Well, that's exciting. I know. <laughs> Stretching out. 
Oh man, it's beautiful. You can see like the perfect line of scope we just laid out. Yeah. It's so cool. Yeah, looks like we're set. 1500. All good? Okay. It's super hot. Me and Max took the kayak in. Um, Brady's on a paddle board and the other ones are swimming in. And uh, it's awesome. It feels really good to be here. And no one's here, but uh, it's only birds, fish, and us. I can see exactly why cruisers would come here and never leave. It's so beautiful, man. Nice. We made it to Chagos! Oh. <laughs> Woohoo! Chagos is literally in the middle of nowhere. Smack dab in the middle of the Indian Ocean. We were anchored on the east side of the atoll, between Phuket and Takamaka Islands in a nice big sandy patch and we were very much alone. The closest civilization of any kind is the U.S. military base in Diego Garcia, well to the southeast of our position. For the last few decades, Chagos has been a memorable stop for cruisers crossing the Indian Ocean, one of those places you hear mentioned by the old salt-stirring sundowners. An idyllic, picture-perfect atoll with shelter from the relentless ocean swells and plenty of fish to be had. Boats would stay for months and months. It did come at a cost though. Encampments were made and the environment was not respected as it should have been. Many boats were lost and left on the bottom or washed up on the beach. We found no less than four wrecks in Chagos and the remnants from many, many visits. Now stays are limited to 30 days, and you're required to get a permit from the British Indian Ocean Territory before visiting. The permit is increasingly difficult to get, but after three months of heckling the British government, we finally got ours. And we were totally stoked to be here. Batteries. That was a pretty big cat. It's a messy boat. I'm gonna climb on this tree. Look at the size of that strand there for the rigging. Whoa! That's um, huge. 
pretty neat. Yeah. Pretty cool. I didn't find anything, which I'm kind of Didn't find about. any charts? No. That's okay. It had been salvaged by somebody else. <laughs> That's what went out between the trampolines to get to that anchor. Yeah. I mean, good, good wood. We could wood for anything. This is the Black Rose, registered in Port Villa, Vanuatu, to a French pop star. She was lost when she drug anchored during one of the many squalls that ripped through here. I can't help but imagine the terror the crew must have felt as their home bashed into the reef, then was slowly ripped apart and took on water. For a sailor, there can be nothing worse. So we are all pretty exhausted because we have been in the sun all day and uh, it's so much hotter in Chagos than on the passage and in Coco. So we are melting away and getting used to the, the boiling hot sun. You set yourself up. Yeah, Max, what are you doing? Max? What are you doing? I'm trying to come down. <laughs> it's so hot. I'm just trying to stay on it for a long time and then I guess hopefully it gets cold in a while. That's why. What are you doing guys? Well, <laughs> the washing machine was making a terrible noise. Last time we ran it, and so we decided to open it up, and then all these bearings fell out. And so there's supposed to be a bearing on the shaft that kind of supports it and keeps it centered while it's spinning. And so that's the noise we were hearing, but at a thousand RPMs. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty much, we have to do laundry by hand now. It's a cleaning day today, so I'm organizing in here. And I'm on gala today, so I'm gonna stop cleaning soon. The pube trap for the, the pleasure of cleaning the head left up this guy, and the sink and the shower drains into this. And you have this great thing of dirt and skin and hair and whatever else people do in the shower. So you gotta take this and this outside, give it a good clean, and go put it in Brian's face. Cleaning the kitchen. It's good, it's not moving, so it's easy to clean. How about you, Yash? What's your job today? With seven people living in such a small space, things can get dirty real quick, especially on passage. So we've devised a cleaning schedule where we assign tasks that alternate weekly. With the entire crew pitching in, Delos is all sparkly in just a few hours. Laundry day, slash cleaning day. So I've got all my panties <laughs> in the sink. Nice panties. Thanks. And I'm stirring around like soup because the water's hot. Smells delicious. Let's go, Brian. Let's go. Let's go, Brian. Let's go. What is brown? Look at that. Seven people's fun clothes. Good workout, though. No? Oh, that's good. <laughs> I can think of worse places to do laundry.
So you guys excited to go explore Yakamaka Island? Yeah. Yakamaka. Is that what it's called? Yakamaka? Yakamaka. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Take some pictures. So it's almost low tide, so hopefully we should be able to walk around the whole thing. Yeah, look at the birds. Take and check some out photos. some bird action. Alright. Let's, let's do it. Exploring deserted islands is like a boyhood dream for me. It never gets old. And there's nothing quite like setting your foot in the sand, knowing that you're the only person here. We decided to break into two groups. The girls and Max would head south, following the shoreline around. The Troutman brothers would head north, hacking their way through the center of the island. We're in front of Tamakaka Island, and we found some sort of marker. So, we're gonna follow the trail into the jungle and see what it is. Brian's having a bit of a bad stomach, so he's out there pooing in the water. Ah. He's chasing me! <laughs> Got the shits, mate. So we've walked through just from the shore, a bit of a clearing, and signs of a Cruiser fire. It's our first signs of any sort of encampment so far. There's that massive sign there talking about cruisers not being allowed to do anything anymore. Yeah. Okay, lead the way, Brady. All right. Look at here's a line of coconuts. Very suspiciously not nature. Nature doesn't block coconuts in a line like that. The little no sign okay. of a resident population. Except for this massively oversized hermit crab living in a coconut shell. Look at this. It's such a beast. Crazy. Whoa! Whoa. Sorry, bro. There you go. <laughs> Give him some back. He'll find it. Oh, yeah, I don't think we can get to there. so they don't need to kind of keep their nests a bit higher. What if he just came running at you and grabbed onto your leg? Dude. Love outside their, their dens, they have all the coconuts they ripped apart. This little guy is taking advantage of some of the rubbish on the island. That's crazy. Plastic bottle. Oh. 
We didn't find any ruins of a village, but we made it to the other side of the island, which is pretty sweet. So there's a nice beach. We saw a coconut crab, and we just saw a pretty big rat. So there's rats on the island. And I think we should lay an ambush for the others because they're probably going to be walking around. <laughs> Where do you think they passed us yet? We can go check for football. On the other side, there's just so much more life. Just sharks and birds and really well protected, no wind, and just beautiful. Yeah, that's probably one of the coolest things about Chagos, the wildlife. And since no one's here, it's only us and the animals. It feels very free. Really beautiful place. We're having sundowners. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 I'm not catching any fish, that's for sure. <laughs> it's fishing around the boat, but it's got me fishing on the inside of the lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> that's Wait. amazing. Fine, you want to get us <laughs> Up next, we find the abandoned village of Badam Island. Move Delos over for a closer look and set up camp for a few weeks of exploring. Nothing like the summer breeze to take a load off you and me. We survived the madness, we made it through. Now, girl, it's only me and you. It's only me and you. Mm. We're taking it easy. We're taking it easy. We're not Brady's doing. <laughs> 